Hello. We're here at home. We're still in lockdown. Two or three weeks, we'll be back at the golf course and we'll be back on track, man. In the meantime, this arrived in the post today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a swing speed radar. So we're gonna have some fun with this, getting the swing speed up. And then we'll go back and we'll use TrackMan and really refine the whole process. This video, I'm gonna explain how this technology works, radar technology, because the technology that this little device uses, this cost 150 euro, is the same technology that TrackMan uses. I remember when I was a kid, I had one of these, and I'd look at it and try to figure out how it worked. And I have a broad, a broad rough idea now how Doppler radar works, and I'm going to try and explain it to you. I'm going to leave this here. And I'm going to bring you over to my board here. And I'm going to explain. Can you see that orange mark? Okay. We'll call that... Trackman. And we got our golfer here. And our golfer is going to hit this ball. And the ball will travel through the air, hopefully away from Trackman. That's not even round, is it? It'll hopefully be a round ball. And the ball will find itself at this position in space as part of our example. And I'm going to try and explain to you now, or I'm going to explain to you now, how Doppler radar works. If this ball was not moving, if this ball was somehow frozen in space, the waves coming from the track man, the microwaves, they would come up here, they would hit the ball, these waves are coming at the ball, they all are the same distance apart, they have a certain frequency. If this ball were not moving, the waves would bounce back to the track man and they would have the same frequency, they would be the same distance apart. And the track man would say, this ball is not moving. But, usually the ball will be moving, hopefully away from the track man. And when those waves from the track man hit this golf ball, as it's moving through space-time away from the track man, the waves will bounce back to the track man with a different frequency. This first wave in our example will bounce back. And now because the ball is moving away from the track man, by the time this wave, this second wave in our picture, the wave after this wave, this wave, hits the ball. The ball will have traveled a certain distance and therefore this wave will take longer to get to the ball. And when it bounces back towards Trackman, it will be further away from the wave ahead of it than it was before it hit the ball. And the waves that are bouncing back to track man in this instance will have a lower frequency. The track man will receive this information and be able to tell due to the frequency of these waves 
how fast the ball will be moving. And this, this little thing over here, actually it will do that with the club head. We can talk a little bit more about that later. I'm just trying to explain Doppler Raider. The track man, which is really amazing, can tell the spin on the golf ball. And we'll talk about that maybe in a different video. But very simply, if the ball is back spinning and is turning this way, the lower half of the ball will be moving faster than the upper half of the ball. And that's how Trackman can tell the spin. But this is the basic, this is the basic idea. And this is red color. Th these waves will be red shifted. We'll go further into that hopefully in the future in different videos. But this is the basic idea of how Doppler radar works. Doppler radar is in this fun little box here. And Doppler radar is used by Trackman. Trackman also uses cameras. This is the basic technology. And I spent many years looking at this device when I was a child, trying to figure out how it worked. Maybe you've done the same. And hopefully this video is the first step towards truly understanding Doppler radar, how it works, and how it's going to really help our golf games. If you've watched till here, thank you very much. I hope this has been fun to watch. And you just wait. The next few weeks, we're going to have so much fun increasing our swing speed. And we're going to be back on the golf course soon. Thank you.